Hi guys, welcome to and welcome back to my channel. Today, if you guys can't tell, we're out here at Moving World on the Gold Coast. Just to kind of do an update, it's been a while since we've been here. As well as they've got a brand new, um, like, Batman showpieces in the showcase, but we'll get to that later on. Let's get into the park. As we keep moving and kind of get around to, like I said, we're going to see what's going on with the Arkham Asylum area. We can tell that the park is absolutely packed today. The parking lot was pretty crazy, but I think it's even got worse as we got inside. But we'll keep an eye on that as we walk around. Let's get down here and see what's going on. So all closed up, but, and this gate is too. We're going to get down there and check that out. However, I will point out they've now officially announced that this area is being turned into something else. So all that kind of speculation and guesswork that we had for reason it's been closed for so long has now been confirmed. I'm not sure if you guys are telling, can see yet I should say, but there's like a blue scrim back there. Okay, so they're definitely cording off the area. I'm guessing so they can open this gate if they have to, for like crowd control. But saying that, let's head back this way. Let's get up to the front of the park and check out the store, attractions and other stuff that's going on in the park. Okay, let's head into the gift shop and see what they've got this new, okay? Can't say anything too excessively new yet, but we have got like a new little matrix cup it looks like. We've also got like this 3D puffy Movie World Gold Coast mug. And there's also a semi like puffy Tweety and Scooby-Doo mug, which is kind of cool. And it appears they're all $20 each or two for 30. It's a wide range. It looks like we've also got a Joker one here, which is just his suit with the J for the handle. It doesn't seem like there's anything new in the way of t-shirts, clothing. I think most of these we've seen before. And then just turning slowly, we've got the men's ones just behind me here. But like I said, I think we've seen all these designs before. It does seem like they've got a new deal though which is this kid's Batman shirt and the Batman money box. You can just see behind, here's the slit to put in the money. And you get both of those for $33. It's not a horrendous deal, I guess. The shirts look like they retail at about the $20 or $30 mark, so kind of reasonable with the money box. Okay, so before we get into the rest of the park, let's check out this gift shop too and just see if there's anything different in here. So the main thing I'm seeing is this new pillow for 30. And we still have got the Matrix stuff we pointed out here. I think actually, this is a new shirt in that range. But that's the stuff we saw, I think it was around Christmas, it was in. They've got the mugs here too. But the other thing I wanted to point out, they've now got the Gremlins. I don't think we've seen the Gizmo or Gremlins Christmas purse bag. There's similar sort of stuff for Beetlejuice, but I do know this is new. We've got some new underwear and socks here, just next to the show bags. So you've got Matrix Friends, Rick and Morty, Friends Socks, and Rick and Morty Socks. It's kind of cool. So, next to the gift shop there, it looks like we've got Bugs and Lola Bunny doing a meet and greet just outside the store. It's cool, but we're going to turn and we'll start making our way down here. And we can see Tom and Jerry's actually on the way down Main Street as well. I'm guessing they're going to their main green location, which is just behind me. So it also seems like we've got um, Batman and Robin doing a meet and greet. So it looks like we've barely gone any further, but it appears that the little pop-up donut time store we had here over Christmas has now got a, a much more serious little booth thing set up, which is kind of cool. And like we've been seeing around the rest of the Village Roadshow theme parks, we've also got a boost truck as well. Like I said, it's, it's fun to see it in the park. Their prices are higher than normal, but overall it's kind of cool having a little boost. It's a healthier alternative than what other things offered in the park. I think let's actually head towards the WB Kids area, and then we'll go the opposite way down there and check out the showcase towards the end, okay? Okay, on our way down towards the WB Kids area, it looks like we've got a new like little I'm not sure what you'd call it. It's like photos carved into plastic 
three illuminated. Kind of stop. Okay, so that seems like it's like an interesting customizable gift like location. Let's keep making our way towards the Dobie Kids area, but I think let's duck into Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory first. Okay, so it seems like most things here are still the same, but I will point out, looks like we've got some more of the socks here and underwear. So we've got donuts, Doritos, Flaming Hot Cheetos, Corn Flakes, Fruit Loops, and Rice Bubbles. Or so Frosted Flakes at the bottom, just down there. And socks are 12, underwear is 20. Also noticing, looks like we've got some Willy Wonka um, lounge fly bag and purse. But besides that, that's about all I'm seeing. Except for the fact that it seems like there's a wide range of show bags now just on display. Okay, let's get into the Dobie Kids area. Okay, like last time, I'm gonna do a circle around here. See if there's anything new. If there is, I'll show you. If not, we'll just keep moving, okay? As I'm going around, I'm noticing these statues. I'm, maybe I just haven't paid attention in the past, but it looks like they're new, at least to me. So we've got a Porky Pig one here. We passed a Bugs Bunny one back there. And it looks like just in front of us, we've also got a Roadrunner and Wally Coyote. Well, why am I not remembering his name? Hopefully it's on the sign here. Oh no, it just says Roadrunner. Oh, and yeah, Wiley Coyote. So yeah, I was right. Like a little statue stone figures. I'm not sure what you want to call them, but they look nice. But besides those possible stone statues, I can't see anything else new back here. All the rides are open. I'm pretty sure this has um, parents rest stop baby area is up and running let's head in the back door here of the little cars thing just to catch some ac and then we'll move our way towards the coast and see what's going on with that okay so it's going out that area is not ac so still very hot thank you at the moment let's keep moving around the park see what else we can see and get towards that batman stuff okay we go past we can see the carousel merry-go-round whatever you want to call it is up and running and so is the roadrunners coaster so let's head out here and get to the other side and start getting towards that batman prop and stuff like that okay let's go check in the 20 dollars in under store but they've taken all the signs down so i'm not sure it still is but let's see what we can find okay so we've got the same like rack of clothing that is 20 dollars and under i'm gonna look through and see if there's anything new so we haven't got the figurines back on the walls yet and these items that were kind of pushed the back are now in the side. And we've still got the same sort of t-shirts and merchandise on the back wall. Okay, so it looks like we've got the Justice League out here doing a meet and greet. Just coming out. Okay, I'll also point out, it looks like They've added an additional show to the stunt show spectacular. I'm just not sure which one it is because I feel like it only ever had two shows and now it has three. But that's the times now for you to see the Hollywood stunt drivers. I think this is the second version of it, so it's two. But that's something. Looks like they're starting to get ready for the show. There's only a little bit to start. Let's keep heading around and see what else we can see, guys. Okay, so. We've got the studio showcase there, and we're gonna come back to that. Before we do that, I think let's just head to the end quickly, because I believe the Wild West Falls is back open. So let's just check if it is, and then we'll come back and check out the Batman stuff. It is so hot today. Okay, so I've pointed these out to you guys before, like the whole squish penny machines. But I've started to notice these are hanging around, which are like coins. Uh, there's some in the front of the park, so if I can remember when I get back there, I'll show this to you too. And they're 550 each. Per coin it appear. So we've got Wally Coyote, uh, Speedy Gonzalez, and Roadrunner. And then there's close-ups of what the coins look like here. And it looks like the back of them just have the generic Warner Brothers movie world Gold Coast symbol. So little gold coins you can collect. 
enjoy a montage of what we can see here in the Batman Legacy Studio Showcase area. I will point out, like a lot of the indoor locations, this is a mandatory masks area as well. Like I don't have to pretend Yeah, 
this finish in there, that was actually kind of cool. It's interesting to see that. A couple of the vehicles were replicas. I'm not sure if that came up on the sign, but I'll also let you guys know as I go past it, the Doomsday ride is still down, which is not good, because I know that had a very long refurbishment period. But let's keep moving around the park, see what we can see. On my way back down the front of the park, just seeing Catwoman was out here doing a meet and greet, which is awesome to see. That and also, it looks like there's a weird candy by the pound machine in here, so let's go check that out. Okay, so it kind of is. I'm not sure exactly how it works. I've seen these all over the place. This is just the first time I've seen it like here. And I think it's you kind of make a mixed cup with what you want. So you select it, but just an odd thing to be in the front of the restaurant. Because yeah, if you head down here, this is just a, a sit down dining restaurant. Okay, let's keep moving. So it looks like the Batman store is reopened. So let's see what's changing here. Okay, can't really see anything, but let me do a quick look around and see if I can see any new merchandise, okay? Okay, so I can't see anything new per se. I think everything is just better laid out than it used to be. So you just easy to look at, especially like the mugs here. And I think there's a few pop vinyls over here. They're just better laid out to see. Well, let's keep it around and see what else we can see. Coming to another gift shop, and I know this movie failed. This is a really cute set of like lounge fly bag and purse. Some more stuff, but let's look around the store and see what else I can see that's new, okay? Okay, I haven't actually seen it on the shelves, but this bomber jacket looks new and it's kind of cool. It's that classic like Looney Tunes outro. Okay, so I almost forgot, but this is the only other one of these machines I've seen. And this one obviously has Bugs, Tweety, and Taz. And it looks like it's also $5.50 per coin. Okay, I guess that's what I'm going to have to leave it for today. Hope you guys have liked this video. Like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Get no phone next time I upload. I was the bottom screen, like always, on my socials, but I guess that's a wrap. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.